Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. My name is Tom and I film every single weekday of my life. And I tell you something, we're starting today a little bit late. We're gonna hop up in this Defender, head to the gym and burn off my boobs. Hi ho Silver, away! And may one hour of hell commence. Not bad, not bad. I tell you what, as much as I don't like it because I feel exhausted when I come out, oh, I do feel good. Yeah. Half past 10 on a Tuesday. We're up, we're about, and we've got the hard part of the day out of the way. We're starting up the engines and shooting on home because in T minus 25 minutes, I've got a delivery coming to the house. Um, and this is not it, but it would appear someone's blue bin exploded. And because I'm a good neighbor, I tidied it up. Now, where is he? Where's my boy? Little weed, little weed. Where are you? Oh, you're not in the bedroom. You're in the nursery. Fee, five, four, four. Ah, it's smell of blood of my little son. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, mate, you all right? You look very smart. Where are you off to today? What are you doing? Look at you. <laughs> I, lo I love him so much. But I'm sorry, darling. You can't go out dressed like that. You need a bit of your grandma's spice. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at his ears. I know, I can see like a little elf. Suits you, sir. Mama Bear has headed out the house. And I have free reign to do whatever I want. And to be honest, I want to tidy the house. Like, no one prepares you for a child in the first place, but then no one prepares you for the amount of stuff you need for a child. Like, crikey, Joe, like, just look inside here. We've got, we've got attachments with playthings to go on his chair and a carry papoose thing. And for some reason, we've got booty shorts with my boy's face on it. Because why not? There's just stuff, 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 stuff everywhere. And trying to stay on top of it is a nightmare. We did get this built for that exact reason so we can store things. But we can't load it up just yet because it needs the painter to come and do a finishing touch-up job. And he's coming next week, so there's no point putting everything into it only to take it back out. So it seems we are stuck with the mess. But I'm gonna try my best to give this place a bit of a spruce, and yes, that is indeed a pack of Kinder Bueno hit down the side of the sofa. Spoiler alert, as I make my protein shake, that wasn't me. Hey, up, here she is. Rita, Rita, Rita. Very convenient timing, eh, Andy? My food's getting delivered and you're stood outside waiting for something. Mmm. <laughs> the angel of my eye. Rita! <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. Honestly, I could eat it now. I'm ready to just back from the gym. Just back from the gym, got oh, my protein shake oh, about lovely. to go in me. Well and I'm about to get this devoured. <laughs> Oosh. Look at this! Look at this combination! Two of the best people who ever featured the vlogs together right now. Brilliant! Oh, I am a happy chappy! Getting Rita to do my meal prep was one of the best decisions I've ever made. <laughs> Look at this thing! I'm salivating. I'm, I'm bloody salivating. Five meals prep for the week. Mm, 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 mm. And you know what? I'm actually having one right now. I know it's only 11.39, but I had a banana for breakfast. So this is getting demolished. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now. That is hot, but oh my. Is it good? I'm just going to wash this all down with a cereal milk flavored protein shake. As you do. Uh, I thought I was done at the gym because that right there, along with this, was a workout of absolutely food comatose. You could you could roll me into the garden and bury me right now. That's that's the sort of state I'm in. So I've got a plan. We're going doing it. <laughs> Step one, sit in this. Step two, recover. Oh. And what should have been a 20 minutes later segment, um, no joke, was um, an hour and 20 minutes I've been sat in that chair. <laughs> 
That, that food put me on my ass. Now, as I do, I'm drinking a monster just to pet me up for the day. That, and I actually really like the taste. I know some people don't drink energy drinks. I'd be really interested to know if you do. But I love the taste of this. However, I know I need to get way more H2O in my system. It's going to sound really, really strange. But do you know, like, the times when we've been doing, like, the wall and the productivity of organising the house and stuff like that? I've been drinking insanely vast amounts of water. And I've felt so mentally good. And I just realised over the past few weeks of like, you know, that, oh, I'm feeling a bit lethargic or I'm a bit just like glum or down in the dumps. I realised the common thing throughout all that is I'm not drinking enough water. So bottoms up. Let's get shit done. First off, we're having some practice shots at some darts because when I was down there at Joe Suggs, right, I did okay, but he beat me. T twice? I think, he beat, I think he beat me twice, damn it. So I'm going to throw three darts and we're going to see how close I can get to triple 20 each time. You ready? One. Oh, I hit a 20. Two. I hit the 20. And three. Oh, I hit a 20 again. That was not bad. Let's go for a close-up, Jeff. Look at that. 20, 20, and... I split the 20. I'll take it. I'll now take there be no mess at my door. Because someone's been shopping at Abercrombie and & Fitch. And spoiler alert, it ain't fucking me. Welcome home. How are you, Nails? Let's see, let's see. Oh, very good, very nice. Um... I've decided to start organising that stuff over there and I've just pulled out this and I know what it is. The helicopter comes to school. Whoa. It's one of my childhood school pictures. There was me at Dowson. We all formed a H. And see if you can find me on there. Shit, Ayo, it's me. Look at you. <laughs> Mr. Doidge. Flip it out. There's Wes. There's Wes. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Yes, Sarah. I have two. I don't know if this is, is that what you thought I was I don't know if this is another year or is this the exact... Wait, what? Did you always have helicopters? I don't know, but... Oh, this one's not me. This is Alice's class. Hey, there she is. Little Alissimo. <laughs> Love you, baby. See you later. A flying visit home from Lydia. She's just gone out to a friend's house. But I've realised that this isn't just a bag full of, like, all my old birthday cards. Like, my mum and dad must have kept these. This says, to Tom. Hey, oh, she wrote it, Tom. Not like seven centimetres. I don't know when that changed. It says lots of love for you today on your second birthday from mummy and daddy. Back when they were still together and not divorced. How nice is that? <laughs> but I've also found my Kite Cat BAGA award for gymnastics. Mate, I was sick. I could like bounce off the walls. That's why I'm so bloody nimble. <laughs> I've used to learn to go and do backflips and stuff. Wow, I didn't know this was what was all in it. Oh, I found my first ever birthday cards with lots of love for your baby boy's first birthday. <laughs> That's so cute. To Thomas, love from Auntie Carmel, Uncle Kev. No, wait. That's also from Simon, Sean, Alex and Anthony, a.k.a. <laughs> bald Cousin. Oh, and I hope I found a bit of an awkward one here. To my husband. I'm like, wait, what? what? What's this going on? To my husband. To Ken, happy 41st birthday with lots of love. Karen! Don't think I'm supposed to have that one. But that was probably one of the last times my mum ever said she loved my dad. Mm -hmm. But I've also found these two belters. To the world's greatest son on his birthday. And this is from my dad. How lovely. But then this one, birthday love for you, brother. And I'm like, the hell? She's not written on the card. Until you turn it around and my sister <laughs> scribbled on it. To Thomas. Lots of love on your first birthday from your sister, Alice. No way. This was the first ever birthday card I got from my sister. And if I've got to be honest, I don't think a handwriting's got much better. But after going through all that, I finally reclaimed the back portion of my kitchen because I'm going to take all of this downstairs. And with the help of some really useful boxes, I've now got a place to store all my childhood belongings. I've got my train equipment in here. I've got like my collection of toys and my birthday cards. Brilliant. Oh, not sure how this has happened, but I've drawn blood. But at least it's not a nosebleed. And whatever it was in there that attacked me, calm down, because I've got to dive back in, because I think I'm going to shift all this stuff here through to the house next door. It's just a bunch of chairs and stuff, but I've just realised that for accessing things that I need on, like, a regular basis, um, having them in there makes no sense. So we shifted them. Oh, 
So it's a very cold outside. So I think an outfit change might be a good idea. Is there any jogging bottoms on here? Oh, yes. Gotta love me, the Syndic original joggers. As well as the 10-year anniversary hoodie. Oh, this thing, this thing's looking so good, so clean. I mean, like, the last bit of, like prototype testing it and if you're like what do you mean by that um <laughs> we've been going back and forth with the ink that we use to print on it and honestly we've never done this style before and it feels so nice and i know that sounds strange because usually when you have like ink in a t-shirt or something it feels like it's it's sort of part of it this is like a material but when you do a print you most of the time don't want to feel it but because of this hoodie the reason why we've gone back and forth so much is because it's over your arm there's going to be a lot of wear and tear and we want it to be as like versatile as possible so you have to use like a, a, a different type of print but i wasn't expecting for it to feel like this and it's just absolutely gorgeous it feels like you wear it with pride and i just love it the more details of when it's coming out soon that's like up to alice and stuff like that but yeah it's looking so good shame the same can't be said for the garage and what on earth was that? Hey, well, that's actually what I've come for. The garage is looking like an absolute bomb's gone off. But I am indeed here to actually remove the chairs. Because I need everything clearing in there because we should be seeing the joiner come up later this week to put across the stud wall and get in this room one step closer to completion. <laughs> Ah, hello, house next door. Now, in an ideal world, I'd just be taking them and putting them in there. But if you by any chance remember what's inside this, you'll remember that. Um, that's quite not that possible. Oh, actually, oh, I forgot we shimmy things round a little bit to get to the electricity box. So I could actually get all the chairs, stack them in there. And jobs are good, and but it doesn't negate the fact that I actually want to empty this garage. And I've got all this stuff in here. And just to clarify what it all is, is all... The furniture that my mum inherited, whether it be dresses and drawers and sofas and armchairs or whatever, from when my uncle passed away, because when he died, my granddad technically inherited everything. And then when my granddad died, everything went to my mum and my mum inherited everything. And then she was left with all this furniture and stuff. And she was like, um, don't really know what to do with it. So she just decided to bang it into my garage. I have brought it up to her that I would like to store stuff in my garage. And she's like, you don't just need it at the moment, you're fine. And you know the situation with mums, they're right, I'm wrong, they're big, I'm little. So um, I think in this circumstance, if you can't beat them, just gotta join them. Mm, and you know what? I'm gonna take back what I said about putting these in there because of all like the water damage and mildew in here. And I'm gonna set up a temporary conference room in here, like so. Which if I remember correctly, someone also did in the next room over. As you do. Not sure by who, but I'm gonna guess my mum. Because in all honesty, she also has hoarding tendencies like I do. But after a quick few trips and a mopped floor, we'll be done and dusted. So here's one and two, three and four. Five and six, all ready to go next door. Flipping heck, that took a long time. Might not have seemed like it on camera, but oh my gosh, that took ages. But with them out the way, I can now get to the TV cabinet in the basement. Because look how much space it's taking up. Get all this shifted to the side, and I'll have somewhere to be able to walk. But that's not going to be happening today, as it's currently... 10 to 6. And myself, Lydia, and Alfredo are all going out for dinner with my dad and Gail in Manchester. So time for another outfit change. Hmm. Hmm. That'll do, donkey. And dare I still say, you look amazing. You have done all day. Hey, little weed. You all right, mate? <laughs> are you excited to go see Grandad? You going to go see Grandad and uh, Grandma Gail? Yeah. Whilst Lydia's getting ready, he was supposed to be fast asleep moment she gave me him he woke straight up and he's just smiling at me you're going to be the death of me because you're going to get me in so much trouble you little cheeky git one outfit change later you still look very smart to go and see your family we're heading off to manchester so you enjoy your dancing through uh, whilst daddy drives and we've made it welcome to Manchester. And if I'm right in saying, that is where we're going. So let's stop, look and listen. Make sure it's safe to cross and get on in here, which looks very nice, by the way. Ooh, for some dinner. I can't believe how fancy this is. I have never been here before, but I thought, you know what? I want to go out for dinner with Dad, Gail, Lydia and Alfie. And just found this on Google Maps and was like, hell yeah. Ooh, very, very nice. Oh my God. Gosh, this place is absolutely stunning, but not as stunning as Dad and Gail. Hello, guys. I, I cheers you, but I have a child in my hands. And it looks like we're changing tables to the best seats in the house. Mm. Do a dance. Do, do, do. We do, do a dance. 
We do, do, do. We do, do a dance. <laughs> he's definitely a casella if he's got the dancing jeans. Now, not to be distracted that by you, mate, but I'm still in just absolute awe at how beautiful this restaurant is and how I've never been before. We've ordered a steak and I'm hoping it's good because if it is, I'll be back. We've all just been eating the starter and um, the bloody mains come out already. Eager beavers. A saucy ribeye steak, peppercorn sauce. Don't mind if I do. When in Rome? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Take one of your chips now and dip it in that peppercorn sauce. I'm not kidding. Wow. I'm I'm not joking. You to myself, yeah, yeah, I do. That is so tasty. Oh, it smells lovely. How I'm not lying though, right? How good is that steak sauce? It's lovely. That's so chips are lovely. Yeah. Oh my look at them. Oh I shouldn't even be eating these, but I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. They're proper potatoes. Wow. wow. Thoughts, Lid? So good. So good. I'm going to try the ribeye now. It's Bottoms over, up. It's not over pepper, is it? Mmm. It's a mild peppery sauce. Mmm. So go on then, guys. Our good's dessert. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> You're right there, Grandad. <laughs> I'm fine, mate. Look at him staring he's at him. He's, he's wondering why he can't have any yet. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's fine. Oh, what a night and what a good time. And this little guy's starting to get restless. But I've been delivered the Holy Bible, AKA the bill. <laughs> How nice has that been? Going out with Grandad and Grandma Gail? And you've been on best behavior. Honestly, how good has he been? How good has he been tonight? Oh, <laughs> My good little dude, I'm so proud of you. So proud. If I dare do say, I'm giving myself a lot of credit tonight. This place has been absolutely just Fabulous, but that's a different restaurant. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. I pulled your clothes up, but like, but even look at this. Look at the decor. Like, what even is that? It's it's it's, it's a pheasant nest or something. How good would it be to keep out there? You mean you mean Dog right floor. there, exactly in front of the entrance way? <laughs> well, it would have been great, but instead, I parked three cars back there. All right, he's strapped in. Lydia's driving, and we're on the way home. Oh, what was that? So nice. That was great. You know what? Grand Pacific, you were absolutely gorgeous. You've been there for absolutely years, never been in. Is Dad and Gail still doing a photo shoot in there? They are. <laughs> Picture on screen right now of Dad and Gail just looking absolutely fabulous at the end and then my dad with a phone in his hand because why not? Just why not? Like Lydia said a second ago, going down to Manchester for a lovely meal, good times, good vibes on a random Tuesday night. Because we can. Oh, Lydia's given me the task now that we're home to get him out of there <clears throat> and in to there without waking up. Might as well get a clip out of it because he's gonna wake up straight away. It's like a deflating tire. Do it, come on. Pat him, pat him, pat him, pat him, pat him. Yeah, he's wide awake. You failed. Mission unsuccessful. Yeah, that didn't work. And I have not got the dad skill mastery unlocked of taking him from the car to the house without passing out. I can bring him in in his car seat, no problem. But when you try and take him <laughs> out of the car seat by hand, it just doesn't work, does it? Oh, I know. I know. My boy. You don't look sad to me. You wide awake now. <laughs> you cheeky git. I love dad life. I know these vlogs have changed a lot from me being like, oh, go and do this, go and do that or whatever. But hey, mum, with great power comes great responsibility. And are you going to tell them that you're going to keep staring at that massive bouquet of flowers you bought for your mum? Hey. He's like, no, sh can't tell you. Hey, if he says I can't, you want to tell him? You want to tell him about the adventure? We're going on a very big adventure soon, and he is going to see some place that... Oh, no, don't don't spoil it. Well, they already know that they're going to see... You're going you're gonna to see some places that it, I've never seen before. So it's going to be crazy. I know. We're going to have the best time ever. And I'm going to have to take you back when you're old, because you're not going to remember any of it. Just saying that right now. I didn't tell them too much. 
I promise. I swear. I, I told them the stuff I only told them yesterday. Please, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, fucking head boy, mate. Bit of an update with my toothbrush. Everyone was roasting me in the comments previously, but it's been a week and it doesn't yet look like someone's run it over. Yet. Also, I know I kind of like documented this a while back, but I started using like a charcoal toothpaste because it was like visibly white teeth in two weeks. I tried it and it didn't work. Um, so can anyone recommend a good toothpaste for me to try and use that's actually going to make a difference? I think I have to cut things like tea out of my diet because obviously it stains your teeth. Um, but if anyone could recommend a good toothpaste, I'm willing to try it and document via the vlog the progress. Because right now, I don't think like it's doing all that much and like from my front teeth backwards they all seem quite yellow it, i feel like it's natural if you've got like teeth as white as this you've been to bloody turkey and you need to chill the bloody hell out um but yeah if anyone's got any good recommendations let me know in the comments below no this is the face of despair i can't believe i've just remembered i've got to do the triple threat challenge oh i so cannot be bothered I've been to the gym today, but I'm on day 22 of the challenge. I get it done. We're closer to completion. Just 30 days and it's done. All right then. Let's get it out of the way. This is my before face. <laughs> awful. Just absolutely awful. In total, if I'm right in saying, it's 57 press-ups, 57 sit-ups, and six minutes worth of plank. I'm knackered. I'm absolutely knackered. But well, let me quickly showcase the state of the house and oh my gosh! He tidied it. He said he was going to do it and he's bloody done it. I'm carrying this around because I actually need to install it real quick. So let's go and do that. And this thing has been needed not even for weeks, months or years, but quite literally a decade. Because down here in the basement, ever since I've moved into this house or built it, all the shower soaps have been on the floor and I finally bought this to bang them in the corner. Genius. So the power of Tom in a dressing room, may I present to you the applying moderate pressure technique to install this thing. I think I'm just gonna do it symmetrically in line with that. So like there, and that should be good. Loosen that a bit, that should be good. Does it look like it's balanced? I'm gonna say yes. And then I'm just going to press and fix it into place. It's not even bloody attached. What am I doing? Sorry, technical difficulties. In Whoa, is this revealing my bottom a bit too much? Sorry about that. Right, let's, let's go ahead and try this one again. Did it work? It didn't bloody work. This one. I... Step one, step two, step fucking three. Was it not working? Right, I've taken it off and we're going to try again. I told Lydia I've got a nip downstairs for a phone call, which I still have to do. But I thought this would be a three second job. And she was like, how long are you going to be? And I was like, yeah, like three minutes. I'm never three minutes. What time is it? It's half past bloody 11. Right, I'm going to shove it both into the corner. It's come off. Oh, bollocks. I bloody broke it. I bloody broke it. I've done this. Right, into the corner, both of them. Nice bit of pressure. I'm going to release it until it goes... Tighten it until it goes tight. I'm going to release it. Okay, that one's now on. Will this one go on? You ready? It's not... It's not working. Wait, what if I put it on the lower tiles? Maybe it's the tiles. Is this fucking thing bent? I swear that's bent. I am not convinced in any way, shape or form that that is actually 90 degrees. Someone do some trigonometry math on this and prove to me that I'm right. I'm gonna give it one more go before I get decapitated off Lydia. So let's just try and attach it on. I'm gonna go a lot lower this time for some reason, but whatever. Let's get one attached, yep. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like it's touching on both sides now. That one's attached. Let's push that one into place and try and rotate it whilst it's, I know it's attached. Ta-da! Oh, I've done it! I've done it! <laughs> I've bloody done it, look at that! It's attached onto both fixed points. Let's remove this stupid sticker and let's pick up my tingly ball bag sauce, like so. Oh, 
I thought it fell. I honestly thought it fell off then. Oh my God, it jumped out of my skin. And let's put that up there and see how long it lasts for. Oh my gosh, I finally got a shower holder. However, now it looks really weird that it's that low, but don't worry about it. It does the job. And I've got a phone call I've got to get on. Oh, wow. Okay, so that phone call was supposed to take five minutes and it's now uh, half past midnight. I'm very tired, but it is done and dusted, and I can finally go to bed. Oh my god, I'm absolutely exhausted. What? Oh, what a day. I don't even feel like I've done that much. He says after getting up this morning, going to the gym, and then doing the triple threat challenge. I, it, it is what it is. I'm going to top up Lydia's water, steal a bit of hydration for myself, which is something I massively need to stay on top of. Honestly, over the past few weeks, I've realised that I have not been drinking enough H2O, and I... I really think it's been making me feel lethargic. So for the rest of this week, I'm going to make sure I stay on top of staying hydrated. And we'll see if this is what is going to bring back the longer vlogs for your faces. Like, honestly, I uploaded yesterday's vlog. Let's just do a screenshot of it now, how it's performing. It's the lowest performing video because it's a short vlog. They're supposed to be 10 to 15 minutes, all right? We've had this discussion a million times, but yesterday's vlog was 16 minutes and it's underperformed more than anything. And I need you guys to answer me now. When you see a 16 minute video, do you guys still watch it? Because I do see people comment saying, you know, they watch every vlog no matter what. And I thank you guys so much for that. But then I do see people who say like, oh, when you've got shorter vlogs, I like collect a few together and then it makes like an hour long set of videos. And then I binge watch it. I'm like, okay, I see what you're saying there. But at the same time, Shorter vlogs usually always underperform on the channel. So I'm really interested as to whether people are like, yeah, that is just not even worth my time in the slightest. Or is it something to do with YouTube just not recommending it to you guys? If you give me a bit of feedback for that, that would be absolutely amazing. But um, I'm going to try and see how things go just like trying to clear my mind and stay focused on task. Because like I said, I do find myself a lot of the time just sat down being like, ugh. And then if I actually think about it, I've drank no water all day whatsoever. Like I might have a monster or something like that, but I'm not hydrating myself. And when I've had the like last seven weeks of staying hydrated, I've never got more shit done guzzling down water and getting productive things like put together around the house. So we're going to see how that goes. So if you're a fan of the long vlogs, they might be coming back. And let me tell you this right now, in T minus eight hours, I'm going to be getting up and about and taking care of what Alfie has organized for his mum tomorrow. Now, I'm not going to spoil it, so you're going to have to tune in then at 7 p.m. for the next weekday vlog to find out what he's planned and what he's got booked because it is, excuse me, absolutely lovely and absolutely adorable, and it's going to be a really cute day of adventure. So I'm going to leave you on that cliffhanger to say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the vlogs. I'm going to go up to bed now before I get shouted at. I've just received a text saying, so that means I'm in trouble and I'm going to go. So thank you for watching as I turn off the lights. Make sure you leave a like rating, click the subscribe button, ding dong the bell. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next weekday vlog in a day of the life of me. Sadios.